Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am working on an important evil character for our friends campaign, but not quite a BBEG. For this token, the artist responsible for the art I am using is Kent Davis. There will be a link down below to his art station. His work is incredible and covers a wide variety of focus and ranges. I am also going to show where I got all the assets used in this piece, which is important as a digital artist to cut back the time needed to make your own assets. Specifically, the pile of skulls I used for the details and the stone wall. With these three assets ready, I crafted by far one of my favorite tokens ever. To start, I spent 18 minutes preparing the bulk of the token edge using the stone wall, and a ring template I scaled down to make space for the staff and the rock edges. I want this character to utilize the space to the fullest, so I'm going to take my time and cut the rock wall apart like a stone mason. I'm doing this so that when I bevel the cut rocks, they will catch the same lighting as the character's hair at the top. It's important to match the main piece's lighting to make it all work seamlessly. Behind the rock wall will be the ring template and a dark blue shade to act as the grout or filler space. It'll hold all the elements together. While creating the bevel, I decided to use the satin layer to also kind of give it a bit of moss. Just a little something extra to redistribute and catch your eye and notice a little bit more details when you take a good look at the piece. Now that the rocks are done, I need the character cut out from his background. It's a gorgeous bit of scenery but I'd prefer to bring a focus to what I can bring to the table to make the character pop further. After doing the base cut, I went and had the pan pop above the rocks while the outfit go below. It'll add more depth to the piece and helps pull your eyes from the top right to the left and a further in the counterclockwise direction. I then separated the crystal into its own layer, doubled down on it with the multiply and gave it an outer glow similar to the top of his hair again, 
I like to think of it as the hair is now lit by the crystal instead of the moonlight. To help with the flow, one of the assets I had selected was a stack of skulls that starts low and raises high as it piles up. I wanted the character to feel powerful at a glance. To do this, I decided to go with a glowing eye feature. I didn't want it to be overpowering looking, but I wanted it to catch your attention. <laughs> Lastly, the necromancer in this campaign has a personal bodyguard, a devourer, which is a large undead that consumes souls. For a CR-13 undead to be a minion, you know the necromancer has plenty of tricks up his tailored sleeves. Finally, to make it all congruent, I gave every skull the same teal, glowing eyes that match the crystal. He now gives off this presence that he is never truly alone, as the dead come when called, their eyes glowing in the night. All who oppose me, beware. Come now. Death has been here all along. 